I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That will make my work easier. What say you then? I'll go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Uber Ragnason, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kissed. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Gorm is dead, nameless and alone across the open sea. A master of the Order hewn from the trunk of their dying tree. You are getting closer to the roots. Here. This marks few members of the Order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace.
sing us a song. Is there a sea skull among you? When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy, Guthrod, suggested we steal a keg of meat and drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel, and Orsa snuck into the storeroom and stole a barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. Say, I stood and said, The idea was mine. The meat is for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, That is not true. Then, they moved on. Say like This must be Jorvik, the order of ancients lurking in the streets and alleys. My old friends Jor and Juvina live here. Pull up here! Been a settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. Hey, friend. Could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Juvena. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm, bitter. Has Hjor wronged him somehow? for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Juvena and Shor. Oh, oh, oh. Sure, I know plenty. Of that I'm certain. Little one, can you help me? I am looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Juvina mean anything to you? Mm. I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biamiland. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory? I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. I'm 
what about me? What about my wares? You can have your wares back when you pay the talking tax. On whose authority do you impose a tax? By order of the Council of Yorvik. You can take up your issues with them. Oh, I shall. And I think I speak for the rest of us when I say this isn't over. Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dog master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Luvina. Do you know Hjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. Amana, Hjor and Yuvina have done well for themselves. <laughs> Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are pocket thieves around lately. <laughs> they can try. <coughs> I cannot wait for the Yuletide feast. Snow, wine, food. It is truly Third the best time of the year. Mine Are you going this week? There's a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside.
is one of the thieves. Hmm. The trail continues. Lord of Tengri! Riders of Yarmia! Yuvina! me, Juvena. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Juvena. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help, on my honor. Sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where is your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. This way. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Far. Look around. Let's go. Have you seen a Bajarmian woman? Answer well if you know what's good for you. I, I haven't seen her, I swear. You run like a Watch my back! any others. Let's keep moving. This way. I think it is safe now. 
Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The slush in the streets often drips from the goddess of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Cure is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. It me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I have come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to her, Jor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishie's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafid. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rissie, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? Are you some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Faravid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? 
Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor... Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. It tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishie will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Your has changed. Softened. <sighs> Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. You've made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I'll try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Dogmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I'll have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I'll return when I find something. Yeah, it's a jack. 
Kjøpt stund om at hoksa og om du kom. Eks du leider med oksi. Ferie du... This must be where Aldon shuffles the council papers. Yuletide feast. Thank you, Auden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Luvina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else that much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the bishop there. Pile of official scrolls stamped with a seal. What is your planning with the silver? What is your planning with the silver? Reeds, timber, food, wine. An expensive list of items to procure for a feast. and supplies, but not enough to arm and feed even the smallest army.
Here is the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. It seems quiet. Where is everyone? Jant, need to get on the other side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. We'll have to find a way in. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. W what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. Venite adoremus et The bishop's courses. What is that burning smell? Do you see?
bad. friend. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. Lord above! Look! Oh, dear lord! Ugh, the stench. He looks like suitor shit.
charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burnt, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. Must be blocked from the other side. What do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, priest. Go. 
Now! Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look, they are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burned before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you... No one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. <laughs> I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes. By a brand. The Abyss is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim.
a thing my way. Be my eyes soon. Why must we burn them? The fire cleanses impurities, and it's our duty to purify the future of Jorvik. Show me what lies ahead. your distance. <laughs> Go, tell them the Abbas sent you, and bring the texts here at once. Yes, Firebrand. fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. 
But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await. Or Juvena. She'll want to know about Abby's inky books and movement. What news do you bring? The firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abbess, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn pits! Not only do they hold the north, 
but those lawless six have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time, and Hyor if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up.